now that you have your extension created, you place all the files into your upload folder, uh, and then you archive it, and you have to name the zip file accordingly. So you have to have an okmo.zip addend. This is an open card requirement. Uh, then we go to open card installer. We'll upload it. Now we go to uh, modules and we have our extensions here. Uh, so now we want this extension to be submitted to ShipUnity. So we have our extension, uh, we have our ShipUnity extension, now we want to connect this. So uh, inside ShipUnity we need to create a download. Uh, here we just name it as is, so usually it's something like this, or the versions it supports. And here we will select the store which hosts our extension, which we just uploaded, like so. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to fill the rest, but if you want, you can add the demo links as well. And it can be a different store if you want. Now we created our first download. We can have as much as we need. Uh, and if we go inside, we will see the following information. So the link to our uh, source, uh, also the compatible versions. So since we specified all the open cart versions in the JSON file, they are all listed here. Uh, also the dependencies, so just one dependency. And if you see it's green, then everything is good. But sometimes it can be orange, uh, which warns you that uh, your version uh, supports, but the uh, version of the dependency does not support. Uh, so this looks good. Now we go back to our store and go into the extension. And now we see the extension because we uploaded it. And we also see this orange button. So when you have created your extension in the cloud and you created the download of the extension, you will see this button. And this means you want to submit your extension uh, for testing. So I'll do this right now. There. So this extension was submitted. It goes to uh, ShipUnity Tester. He will take a look at it, see if it's fine, if it works, etc. Uh, and uh, he will either approve it and then it goes to the market, or he may reject it and he will comment why he rejected it. So you just need to fix those issues and resubmit it again. There you go.